Hello everybody, this is a look at my house that I have just recently built. Uh, it was the most technical build I've ever made, so I'm, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, so this is the look at the map, just so you can see kind of where it is. That's my, the pin is on the Goose Lake, and it's just to the north of that. So, have a look. Obviously, I had quite a few log carts for building it, and um, I used a lot of putting blueprints inside of blueprints, as you can see with the foundation here, and with the entrance here, uh, and yeah, it was uh, pretty technical trying to get all of this together and getting the order of operations right to make sure that it all worked. Um, also with these uh, log pillars, as you may be able to see, it's a pillar inside of half of a pillar that's done by putting down a rock wall one by one, putting a pillar on top of that and putting a pillar inside of inside of it and yeah it just kind of all came comes together to look like one pillar if we are not really looking too closely. Going inside, this is a look at all of what I've done. The roof, uh, let me go back outside real quick. Made it kind of a conical roof, which um, if you've played the game, you know that you can't do that very easily. Uh, so I made a triangle uh, like on the two near corners and then a middle on the other side and I did that four times for each side so uh, I ended up making this little pattern in the middle which was kind of cool uh, it also took a whole lot of logs I think it was 330 if I'm not mistaken so I've also made a fireplace that went all the way up and the chimney sticks out the top done with a hole cutter right on the edge as it turns out, the hole cutter is actually the exact width of that uh, rock wall, so it worked out just perfectly. This chandelier, I'd come up with this idea a little while ago, um, where you have a wall that's like right here, a normal looking wall, it happens to have a door, and then you can see that, uh, let me get my flashlight. right there you can see rocks inside of the wall the upstairs wall so you build the wall then you build a rock wall and you make it you force it to go all the way over to the other side and do a rock wall that's too wide on this side as well and complete it just on one side the side that you finished on and then you can just auto place a floor it's too wide and you know, we've got a chandelier that's the right height if you've ever tried to build one that's uh, exactly on a ceiling that's just the same height as the wall you can't go underneath it so it's kind of annoying and this was my solution all right into I'm gonna go into the bathroom first so this was what I came up with for a bathroom this looks a whole this is a whole lot more difficult than what it looks like uh, you see this is just a, a rock wall with a table on the inside and a water collector as well and notice that the toilet is half as tall with a keen eye you can see between the floorboards I put a foundation underneath the main foundation and that is what the rock wall that makes up the toilet is standing on and it happened to be the exact right height for the for a bone chair and I have a toilet and the toilet paper is just a rabbit skin on a wall over into the kitchen um, 
I saw the issue that I had with the table in the rock walls in the bathroom, so I fixed that again by putting a foundation on top of this one. Example. just like that and then I put a rock wall around that and once I then I can complete the foundation put the table on the foundation and there you go you have a table that is the same height as the rock wall and this is kind of a refrigerator got snacks sodas alcohol and a sink a drying rack and obviously a fire underneath it and the herb Spice rack, whatever you want to call it, um, made in the same way as everything else, turned out pretty well. And uh, yeah, dining room got weapon rack, got sodas and snacks and meds, alcohol, all the good stuff. Explosive rack, and then a bedroom, which this is a bed. I put. Before I completed that, I put a bone wall right in the middle of it, and I put two side table, uh, four side tables to make the bed. Now, what was really interesting is I got very, very lucky with this build, and with the foundation uh, or the rock walls inside the foundation, in that over on this side the rock wall would go up into the floor. You can kind of see it a little bit on the bathroom, but that's the only place that it actually comes through. Because over on this side and around the back, hopefully I don't fall off, and all that, you'd see the rock wall would go straight through into the through the main floor. This area right here is the only area that you that is actually visible, or that you would actually have it be visible. However, it was exactly the same height as the rock walls, so they don't come through. If you could see through the, the walls in the kitchen, through the floor of the dining room, and underneath the dining uh bedroom you would see that it comes through just like it barely does in the bathroom here so I got very lucky with that and that was not planned and I was very happy with how that turned out so yeah that is my house uh, it's not the biggest build that I've ever done uh, but it was very very technical in how I was able to accomplish it and the roof on the deck and balcony or whatever you want to call it um, I just put a uh, rock pillar right right along the side here and in order to connect up to and then I destroyed it as it wasn't the anchor point that I ended on uh, I was able to do it so yep that's about it I'm very happy with this so I'm gonna save this and that's why I also made this YouTube video so that I'd always have a way to kind of see how what I accomplished in this build I'm very happy with this so Yep, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you later.